Yes, Great Britain ended slavery 30 years before we did. Uh, they ended the slave trade at roughly the same time. Um, theirs ended in the summer of 1807. Ours was 200 years ago last week, January 1st, 1808. Great Britain spent 10 years and $40 million to commemorate the, the abolition of the slave trade in their country. The movie Amazing Grace um, came out as a result of that. The, the, they built museums, they held a commemoration where the Queen and the Prime Minister attended. Um, in our United States government, um, in November, the House passed a, memor a, commem a commemoration bill, H.R. 3432, I think it is, that would establish a commission to come up with appropriate ways to commemorate this anniversary. And the Senate passed it on December 19th, just after all funding for the bill was stripped out, so it can't do anything. And this is a, you know, it's a huge difference. If the slave trade had not ended when it did in 1808 in this country, we attended a symposium in Washington, D.C. a few days ago um, on this specific thing with lots of scholars talking about the specifics. And they said if, if slave trade had not ended, the number of millions of more Africans that have been brought into this country would have drastically changed the makeup of this country. We would look a lot more like Brazil than the United States that we look like today. And it, it changed everything. It, it gave some legs, some hope to the abolition movement. Um, it, it was a real significant anniversary in our nation's history and we've just passed it by with nary a word. I mean, I, there was a great uh, um, op-ed piece in the New York Times by Eric Foner of Columbia University and then this one symposium and there'll be more this year and this, that's the reason this book got published in 10 months by Beacon Press um, rather than the typical year to year and a half because we were so set on being out this month in commemoration of that 200th anniversary.